Let's start with what I mean by meat. Cow flesh, pig flesh, sheep flesh, chicken flesh, turkey flesh, duck flesh, deer flesh, horse flesh, dog flesh, rabbit flesh, squirrel flesh, kangaroo flesh, any flesh that comes from another living being, and yes, that includes fish and other sea creatures. And now we've got that sorted, let's get on with the reasons. Number one, contributions. Meat is a high contributor to the leading causes of death, heart disease and cancer, plus other chronic diseases and illnesses such as type 2 diabetes, brain disease, high blood pressure, liver disease, kidney disease, suicidal depression, Parkinson's disease and it increases mortality. Number two, baggage. Saturated fatty acids increases LDL bad cholesterol which increases heart disease risk. It's also harmful to our base cells, the insulin producing cells in our pancreas, impairing insulin secretion and sensitivity. It's toxic to our liver cells in the formation of fatty liver disease and it's considered the cause of type 2 diabetes. Trans fatty acids are only found naturally in animal fats. They increase risk of heart disease, sudden death and diabetes and the only safe intake of trans fats is zero. Animal cholesterol raises our cholesterol levels and is the number one cause of atherosclerosis. Animal protein increases IGF-1 levels, a cancer-promoting growth hormone. Heme iron can lead to iron-induced oxidative stress, which can lead to chronic inflammations. It contributes to the development of atherosclerosis and increases your risk of coronary heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes and cancer. Hormones not just injected hormones, but naturally occurring ones like estrogen, which contribute to human illnesses such as teenage acne, prostate, breast, ovarian and corpus uteri cancers, many chronic diseases that are common in the Western society, and even male reproductive disorders. Antibiotics. Most livestock are fed antibiotics. In the US, 80% of antibiotics are used for livestock feed. These animals can produce antibiotic resistant bacteria in their guts, which then can become manure or remains on the meat, which can then spread to humans and so along comes the superbugs like MRSA. Toxins and other harmful chemicals. There are neurotoxins in fish that can cause seizures, comas, deaths and short term memory loss. And all fish contain methylmercury, the most toxic form of mercury, which if consumed have adverse neurological effects, including brain damage and superbugs like Clostridium difficile and MRSA. Number three, simply disgusting. Things like preserving meat with a maggot paste made from the common housefly larva. It's a simple technique and at a low cost. Also using phosphate salts to keep the color of fresh meat looking like fresh meat. And parasites like baby pork tapeworms, infecting the brain and causing epilepsy, brain tumours, aneurysms and psychiatric conditions like depression. You can also get migratory skin worms, nathostoma worms from fish, which can also find their way into the brain causing paralysis, bleeding of the brain and even death. Now these are just, in my opinion, three reasons why we shouldn't eat meat from a health perspective. For the ethical side, tune into Friday with the lovely Emery, she'll bring you up to scratch. Now there is hundreds of studies, evidence and information out there proving why we shouldn't have meat in our diets. For more information I've left quite a few links below. Don't forget to check out the rest of the gang and I'll see you next week.